I might even do, can I ask you, just on that subject, how affected are you by other people's moods? Does it slow your roll? Does it affect you at all? Does it upset you? Does it piss you off? Whatever. Hi everyone, happy Thursday. That was Toby2 asking the question, how affected are you over other people's moods? Now, Toby, if you're an 11, I must be like a 13 or something because I'm the same way. When I go into senior citizens' homes and hospitals, I'm going in there, I'm in a good mood, I have gift card, flowers, whatever, trying to cheer up my friend that's trying to feel better and trying to get out. But unfortunately, when that happens, I'm going down the corridor and I'm hearing all the madness and the sadness and the hurts and, and the crying and and just all those emotions. Then you get to the nurse's station, doctor station, and you got the attitudes and they don't give a shit moods. And I seriously just suck all that in to the point that I I leave the hospital and my stomach is just churning with all the emotion that's going on and yeah it will absolutely could absolutely ruin my day um, my partner um, possibly might have an anger issue and m might have a road rage issue um, per se um, yeah um, but when my partner gets uh, upset at me in any way, shape, or form, um, I go into this cocoon thing and I don't defend myself, I don't uh, fight back, I don't, I, I just don't like the fighting and the fighting will get me sicker and my stomach will just, I'll get to the point that I'm violently ill and I'm vomiting, it's that bad. Of course, Road Rage will do the exact same thing. Uh, we'll get into the car and within three blocks, my stomach is turning to the point that I just want to vomit. Um, perfect example, well, not perfect example, but uh, I was with a friend of mine and we missed um, the exit that we were going to do. My hand was on the center console and when we missed the, the exit, um, my friend went into a, just seriously, the microest road rage. Well, immediately I pulled back and I sat on my hands and I hyperventilated um, and I was almost in tears by the time we got to the next exit because I felt it was my fault that they meant that we missed that exit because I was talking. Um, and it goes right to when I'm at work, I have to put as little emotion into my face, into my body because of all the stuff that's going on. I mean, I could have this guy coming up being so angry and so upset and he's swearing every other word and then I got this guy that's coming up that his mom or his daughter just got put into the hospital or just fell down the stairs and then I got this girl that is so hyped up that she has a party to go to can she leave early you know I have to deal with all of those motions and sometimes at the same time that I have to put on as little emotion on my own self just to handle all three issues or you know somebody will come in with a bunch of missed bags and I have to deal with that and and instead of throwing off this anger towards them I have to go okay it's the same person just deal with it you know and and but on the outside my persona is professional and I try to not talk about certain things um, at work and I try not to do a certain things at work and I try not to be a certain way at work but on the inside, <clears throat> on the inside, my stomach is just like this, just jumbled. And I think that's a lot of my problem when I get home and I can't sleep because my body just takes in all the emotion and I have no place to release it. And um, so I'm stuck um, at three o'clock in the morning making a video. Um, because I can't sleep because there's that much emotion going on in my body. Um, I think it has to do with when I was little because when I was little, um, sorry, bright light. Um, when I was little, my sisters and my brother loved, loved to fight and I hated it. I hated every last ounce of it. and. So I would of course get beat up and I got picked on and everything and I just took everything in and instead I never defended myself because I just didn't want to fight. And that's the situation that I go through right now that I am in the same world, just an older body, I guess. Yeah. 
So anyways, uh, that's my question for everybody else. How affected are you with other people's moods? And write your comments down below or do a video response. And as always, I will see you the day after tomorrow's yesterday. And yes, Toby, that is a quiz. Bye.